family of 32-year-old Timothy Jacobs is in mourning after the discovery of what could be his burnt remains. He was last seen on the 30th of October with his family filing a missing persons case on the 7th of November. Please note that this report by Tsehuhazo Moahi may be disturbing to some viewers. A mother left with many questions. Timothy Jacobs was killed and his body burnt, allegedly by his girlfriend, Joanne Swartboy. It's reported she gave the family excuses about his whereabouts until she was questioned by police a week after the crime. They informed us that uh, she actually did make a confession. Uh, and uh, she confessed uh, to, to beating Timothy with a baseball bat the, uh, that Sunday before the voting. She confessed that she beat him with a, with, with a baseball bat and then she, uh, she waited that whole day and the evening, the evening of the 1st of, of, of November, the day of the voting, she said that the evening she decided to wrap him in the blank, in the, in the duvet of the bed he was laying on. She wrapped him on in a blanket and uh, she made a fire, put him on the fire and, uh, and burned him. The father of five has been described as a kind and caring man. His mom says she will miss the small gifts he used to get her. Timothy have always a smile. And uh, he was somebody like, he was a people's person. And uh, from, from my side, he was a person who's always making jokes, always. My heart is still off. And uh, the most thing that I'm going to miss about DJ, especially on my birthday, you will never forget my birthday. Even if it's something so, he buy it and he bring it to me. The family cannot get a death certificate yet because all that's left of Timothy Jacobs are ashes. As much as if it's a difficult time for us, what makes it more difficult is we, we're sitting with a situation that, uh, that we can't make uh, any arrangement like funeral arrangements and stuff like that because at the moment we're still waiting on, uh, on DNA results. Meanwhile, police say they are working around the clock to bring the family closure. The recovered bones at this stage cannot be confirmed to be of the missing person. Forensic analysis report is awaited by the investigating officer and that report will indicate as to whether those bones do uh, belong to the missing person. It's alleged this is where the suspect threw Timothy Jacobs' remains. His mother says she's heartbroken that she can't even see her child just one more time. I said to Anne, if you can give me the body to Anne, it was only was also going to be fine with me. I will accept that nothing she said is nothing, you know. You can ask, send me Joe, you can ask Eugene, because they're always sitting there. When I confronted her, if Joanne only give me one thing, one thing, only one thing, the body, that's all. His girlfriend, Joanne Swartboy, has been charged with murder. She'll be back in court on Friday, the 19th of November, for a formal bail application. For Newsroom Africa on Channel 405, I am Tsukho Hajo Moachi in Alberton.